Exactly what is YMC Victoria Mobile Outreach? Well, staff drive a customized bus to Esquimalt, Cowichan, Sayout, and Sycam Nations where they run weekly programs for youth ages 8 to 18. Area churches pray, provide financial support, and send volunteer leaders who help run our weekly programs that include a God Talk, nutritious snacks, games, crafts, sports, and bus trips. In September, we had the joy of welcoming another staff member. Hey, and I am the new staff member that Rick just mentioned that uh, joined the team in September. Uh, some of you guys know me, and my name is Kurt Friesen. And you might have known me actually as the youth pastor at Friendship Community Church for almost seven years. And so I, I felt God's calling on my life to join this ministry full time with also the help of his servant Rick uh, speaking into my life. And after volunteering for five years at the ministry uh, at Say Out First Nation, I really felt like God was leading me in this direction. So. I'm really enjoying it so far and uh, I'm learning how to drive this bus and it's, it's going really well. But uh, I would be amiss to not mention that a big part of our ministry is volunteers. Like I mentioned too, that I was a volunteer for almost five years uh, with Rick at Sail First Nation. And so we, we really love our volunteers and they are a huge driving force in our ministry in allowing it to move forward. And, um, we've also got some other exciting things to share with you about the ministry. Prior to the pandemic, we were running our program in four communities. Now using Zoom, Discord, and some other platforms, we're excited about the possibility of reaching out to new communities, including Pakachin, Sartlip, Malahat, Songhees, Cowichan Lake, and Halalt First Nations. Even amidst these strange times, God is still at work. How have we seen God working? Well, many years ago, Rick had a young girl by the name of Megan attend the Blue Bus program at Sycam First Nation. Well, Megan has grown up now, and she's become the program and youth and kids director at Sycam First Nation. This has been amazing because uh, in the months of October and November, she called us up and she, she knows how valuable the Blue Bus ministry is to those kids at Sycam and said, we want you guys to come back as soon as possible. And so we had some amazing couple months, October and November, of uh, being with the kids again and reconnecting in amazing ways. So yes, God is at work and Megan is still an advocate for the Blue Bus as we look to return soon. This is an excerpt from our Christmas letter written by Maya Hamill, Program Supervisor at Esquimalt Nation. It is almost like a rite of passage to finally turn eight years old and come to the Blue Bus program. As COVID-19 shook our world, our kids' daily schedules and routine shifted as well. During these unpredictable times, the Blue Bus team has remained a stable, consistent, and safe beacon for Esquimalt Nation's youth. Whether it's in person or virtual, the Blue Bus team shows up every week for the youth to play games, laugh, share stories, and build wonderful connections. Although this program is primarily for our youth to come together to learn and play, it is also another way for the families and community to reconnect with the kids as well. It is often a discussion in the evening about what did kids do at the Blue Bus or who won the race against Rick. The pictures that we take at the Blue Bus are shared in the community on our Facebook page, so even our community elders have the opportunity to be a part and included in the kids' activities. On behalf of the Mobile Outreach Ministry, I just want to say thank you. We have volunteers who help every week, people who pray for us every day, businesses that support our ministry, and churches like you that partner with us. There are so many individuals who help drive this ministry. We want you to know kids love Blue Bus, and you are helping them to learn about Jesus. So are there, are there other ways that you can help well, actually, yes, uh, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and not many kids these days actually get physical, awesome mail, like letters coming to them in the mail. So we thought it would be really special to mail them something for Valentine's Day, and um, you could definitely help us with this project. We would love for you to just send us a, a note of encouragement to these kids, and you can do so through this email that's on the screen right now. So yes, please send us an email uh, if you can with a note 
just encouraging, saying that you're praying for the youth or anything like that would just be absolutely wonderful to include in our mail out to the kids on Valentine's Day. And Rick has the other part of our challenge for you. Hey, so another way you can help us is we're raising 375 bucks to buy cool face masks for kids. So if you want to contribute to that, that would be awesome. On behalf of the Mobile Outreach team and all the kids we work with, I want to say thank you.